Oh, hang on, hang on. It's look like I'm wearing a mudguard on my head. Ta -da. Right, I'm starting to pull things together now. So in this video, that's what we're going to see. Okay, in the last video, I told you what my plans were. E-bike. Showed you the various bits, and as you can see, behind me, I've started putting my bike together. Now, the one thing I wanted to do when I did put my bike together was check out that the e-bike kit works first, and that's what I've done. So if we look at the front of the bike first here, you can see I've put my wheel on. This is a wheel that I've, I've built up myself with the um, aluminium hub that I polished up in, one, in an earlier video. I've got my stem, my handlebars, and I've fitted my headset. And I'll show you that in closer detail in another video, but I really like the look of that. And because this is the pierce de resistance, the gear stick, I've stuck that on there. Go around to the back. You can see fit the, the crank here albeit fairly loosely um, I just need this crank on so that I can turn it round to prove the power assist works on the electric motor kit um, the battery isn't actually going to go here I've just cable tied that onto the top of the tube so I can connect it to my controller my controller is currently sitting inside the aluminium enclosure I bought which is going on the rear rack and then if we look down the bottom here we can see the electric motor or the electric rear hub so does it work that's what we want to find out before I do that I'll just give you a quick overview of everything that's connected up so I've got the main display mounted on the handlebars here I'm going to do a, a custom mount for that uh, which I'll get into later on from that display I have the um, the push buttons for controlling the e-bike so i've got the, the pedal assist levels and i've got the on off button and the programming buttons for the controller and the display on the other side here vroom vroom, little thumb throttle so if i can't be bothered to pedal and i just want to whiz along i can just click the thumb throttle and away i'll go until i hit a hill because the motor isn't that big It'll give me assistance up the hill but very unlikely it'll drive me up there so turn around on the crank here you can perhaps just see a little wire down here but you can't see it can you there's a little wire behind there and then there's a magnet mounted to the chain ring so i've drilled and tapped that magnet to the chain ring i'll pop up some photographs now so you can see what i mean by that so i, I drilled and tapped this uh yesterday and then put the crank together and lo and behold as the pedals turn the magnet turns and there's a little sensor on here which picks up those magnets as they rotate round giving a pulsed signal which flies all the way up this wire to the main controller and that tells the controller that i'm pedaling and i need some assistance and my assistance level will be set and displayed on here set with me little push buttons displayed on the screen um, so that goes into there it's telling my motor that I need assistance and then what happens here is there's a connection from the motor <coughs> comes down into the hub now to set up this unit uh, it can be a, a little bit fiddly it's not too bad in all honesty there's a there's a video on YouTube that explains it really well um, and I'll, I'll post a link up there so if you click on that that guy goes through the whole process of setting up this controller this is a, a kt lcd3 controller um, he'll tell you how to set that up for whatever motor and whatever battery combination um, you have to actually do those settings one of the things i had to do was dismantle the hub here so i had to take that down take it apart have a look at how many magnets were inside it um, on the actual rotor because a, a motor has um, magnets and coils um, so I had to count the magnets which is 20 in this uh, motor and I also had to look and see how many speed pulse motors there are on there when you take the cover off there's normally a little magnet inside and you count them magnets um, and 
if you feed that information into the controller, the controller uses that to then determine the speed of, of the hub. Okay, so power buttons to the battery, battery switched on, battery cable tied to tab, a little out of that, cable tied to top tube. Um, and the reason I've cable tied it on there is because I did rest it on here, bumped the stand and the thing went flying on the floor. Fortunately no damage but I'm not going to make that mistake again. So cable ties on the top tube, jobs are good and it's fairly solid now. So moment of truth, switch on the controller, yes. The display comes on now i knew that was going to come on because it had to come on when i was programming it so what i want to do first off is just check and see if the throttle works it's black and you probably won't see it rotating can you hear that noise hang on i'll get me a uh, microphone down there do you hear it that's a drive and honest it's going around i should really shine a torch on it shouldn't it I will be back uh, I'm back and I have a torch but I'm not going to use it because I've already tried that wasn't such a good idea um, what I've done instead is I've stuck a little green flag on the hub now this should be easier for you to see you might have to get your eye down into that little corner of the screen but we'll see that it's working so throttle voila press the thumb throttle rotates around slow faster i've restricted this to 16 miles an hour because that's the, the legal limit at the moment if you're a naughty boy or a naughty girl you can exceed it above that uh, to whatever the maximum output for this particular motor is which um, uh, happens to be a little bit over 20 miles an hour i have tested it just for scientific purposes so there we can see that goes around now the next thing we want to check is cracks does the pedal assist work so when i turn the pedals will the motor kick in to give me assistance while i'm riding um, now i've already tried this it's a spoiler it does work but when i was setting this up i had some problems and initially it didn't uh, and i didn't think you'd want to see the video of me changing settings time after time after time um, the c1 setting on the controller here within the setup um, I start that off at zero and my pedal assist wasn't working and I kept incrementing that value and eventually on C7 my pedal assist started working so that's a little tip for you if you have problems you can do that uh, keep raising that up and eventually you'll get the correct one okay go try it seven times but it's, it doesn't take that long in the scheme of things so attached to my crank turn my pedals as if I'm riding it see it turn there stop pedaling it stops keep it let me see that provides uh, assistance now what it does at the different levels it supplies a different current um, to the motor now that current linked to the voltage will give you a different level of power so on level one you get a smaller power assistance on level five you get the, the maximum power assistance um, now this is flying around because there's no load on the wheel but you could imagine if my uh, fat backside was sat on the saddle and i was pedaling along on level one the current and the power within that would be able to move me but slowly level five would be able to move me comfortably on the flat um, so there you go Result, I've wired it all together, checked it out. Now I can strip all the e-bike bits off and I can start by building the rear wheel. Now, in my previous video, or was it the one before that? I can't remember. I said that I was going to paint this with ta -da, my Go Chrome paint. I've decided I'm not. And the reason I've decided I'm not is that the durability of this is very suspect and if you put a clear coat on it to give it a bit of strength the problem you have then is that it dulls the chrome right down so at this point in time i'm just going to leave this hub black 
um, researching a few other things that I could possibly do um, chrome wise one of them is to spray this with a metallic paint and then there's a there's a, a plating process you can use with the plating brushes to get a chrome effect um, but in all honesty I want to try that on other things before I, I put it onto this hub here uh, my target at the minute is to, to get this bike complete up and running on the road and then I can do a fine, few little fine uh, tuning exercises on it before I actually auction it off or, or sell it off for charity okay well I hope you enjoyed that keep watching and I'll speak to you soon if you enjoyed my video please subscribe it'll help me do more bike renovations and it'll help me raise more money for charity thanks for watching